This conversation is taking place at the Delaware Theater Company. We're here today at the Delaware Theater Company with Lisa Bartoli. Lisa, Art Therapy Express is committed to making the arts accessible for all individuals. Now, what does that mean to you and how does that how is that revealed in, in what you do? I think making the arts accessible to all individuals means that if children or adults with disabilities are empowered through the arts, through the program, so that if they have physical disabilities, they can, we create or purchase any kind of adaptive technology to make it easier to hold a paintbrush. Um, we use any movement that they may have. If, if a, a student or a patient can use their, has a lot of head movement, we may attach a head stick with a paintbrush on the end. Um, we may, I have many students who are, are in swings because their feet can move very easily. So they paint with their feet. Um, we have adaptive technology for wheelchairs so that they can roll their wheelchairs around. Um, it's just making the arts accessible to anyone. Now, what kind of impact do you see this having both on the learners, on the arts participants, as well as their families who, who really, you know, have a challenge in, in finding meaningful activity? Well, I, I think it gives them hope mm -hmm. that that they can live, that their sons and daughters can live full lives and can express themselves and can have friends and can come to a place where they can they can have friends and as often as possible we actually try to bring in um, students without disabilities to be the volunteers so that they can have friends without disabilities also. You work in collaboration with other organizations as well and, and with local schools. Could you, could you speak to how that benefits you and what kind of impact you're having on those other organizations and schools? Yes, well we have been very blessed by some of the organizations and the partnerships. Um, Newcastle County has given us a space um, uh, in the art studio where we have an adapted art studio for people with and without disabilities. So, so they've really blessed us with this, with a place to invite people to come. Um, we also do some partnerships with the Delaware Art Museum. Um, Del Castle High School mm -hmm. students uh, are so wonderfully supportive. They've created our website. They um, cater our events, the cooks and bakers. They've created, actually at our studio, tables that rotate and easels that move. And then we also go into schools, into the Meadowood program, the Leach, John G. Leach School, um, the REACH program. We, we really um, can take the program into the schools also. What are some of the bigger challenges that you, that you face and, and how do you overcome them either on your own or with the, the partnerships that you've established? Well, I think one of the biggest challenges is, um, because I really put this, the participants first and foremost, mm -hmm. And what you're doing is you're working with students who can't communicate, who uh, often, some of the participants can't verbally express themselves. So it's, it's finding the answers to how they can fully express themselves without having words. Is, is there a particular success story that's, that sort of illustrates uh, the impact that you have? One of my favorite memories uh, was a day that uh, one of the students um, who was nonverbal and kind of clinging to the wall, but I thought, well, I'm just gonna sit down at the potter's wheel and, and maybe the motion or something will bring her over. And so I just put my hands on the clay and, and, and it took probably about 10 minutes until she came over and, and sat down and then put her hands and this was someone who was very, very upset earlier. And she, but she, she, it centered her. And her, her mother looked down at me and said, she's never touched clay before. And she opened up into this, this, this pottery piece that, and we both looked at each other, tears running down our faces. Because I think the arts reach you in a way that nothing else can. Well, Lisa, thank you so much for sharing the incredibly important work that you're doing. Thank you. Thank you for having me.